What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome to another video. So today we are looking at how to make your own foot pedal trigger for a remote camera. It could be for sports, but you could do this for anything. You want to set up a remote camera to try and capture wildlife and you want to trigger it whilst you're also using your other camera. It could be for sports. My main purpose will be to use it to fire a remote behind the goal in football or perhaps a remote in basketball, something like that. But this will work to fire any kind of remote camera. It doesn't really matter. I think this is going to be a great video. Let's go. I know that loads of you guys are new. In fact, more than 61% of you guys who are watching this have not subscribed to my channel. So make sure you take a second, go hit that subscribe button because I've got loads of other cool videos to come. Right, let's get into this. How do we make a foot pedal that we can use to trigger our remote camera? Now, of course, the purpose of this is that it enables us to be able to fire our remote camera while still using our other camera body. Now, traditionally, you would set up a pocket wizard on top of the camera that you are using in your hand and every time you take a photo the remote camera then fires and takes a photo as well but there are downsides to that right you could be photographing action down the other end of the pitch there's nowhere near your remote camera you could be photographing that fox cub or whatever it is you're trying to capture out there with the wildlife and it could be over here and your remote camera's over there and you don't want to then have thousands of photos on your remote camera that you've got to sift through what if you could set it up so it only fires when you want it to fire. Now there are ways you can do this by like using it in your hand but that's real fiddly if you're trying to also use a camera and you're trying to fire a pocket wizard at the same time. So I've come up with this method of being able to fire it with my foot. I can sit there on the stool shooting my football game and whenever the action gets near where I want it to be I can be firing the remote camera with my foot. Genius I think. Let's look at how we're going to make it. Now you're going to need a few bits. All of these bits that I talk about, I've linked below. They are the first lines in the description. So you can go click on those. It will take you to all the links where you can get all the exact bits you need. They're pretty much universal. They will be the same regardless of which cam you're using, all apart from one, and that's going to be the remote trigger cable because that will be dependent on the attachment you have for a remote shutter release on your camera. So I'm going to link you to the one that I use, but make sure you've got the right one for your camera when you follow that link and have a look. The one that I use here works on loads of Canon cameras. It works on my 7Ds, my 7D2, my 1DX. Should be able to use that on the majority of Canon cameras, but make sure you check so you don't buy the wrong cable. Right, so let's have a look at what we are going to need. First of all, of course, we are going to need a camera. In my case, we're using the 1DX camera, but right now we don't need that because we're worried about how we put together the foot pedal. Of course, you are going to need a foot pedal and in our case we are using the Medi Plus Sustain pedal, the SP2. Of course you're also going to need a couple of pocket wizards. Now in my case we're using the pocket wizard plus threes but any pocket wizard should be okay for this so don't worry if you've got a pocket wizard plus two or whatever else don't worry it should still work fine. You're going to need a remote shutter release cable. Now in my case it's got the attachment for my camera and on the other end it's got the 3.5mm adapter. The 3.5mm adapter is the important piece because that's the bit that then plugs into the pocket wizard so that's going to be pretty much universal because most pocket wizards and in fact most triggers will operate on a 3.5 mil adapter but the other end you're going to need to make sure it matches your camera and then lastly you're going to need an adapter you will need an adapter that is a 6.3 mil adapter to a 3.5 mil the 6.3 is going to come from the pedal and then of course you're going to need the 3.5 to plug into your pocket wizard those are all the bits that we need so how are we actually going to put it together well first of all we need to get this pedal unboxed so let's get that out of its packaging it's got a real long cable on it which is perfect to so be able to run this right down towards your feet that'd be great because it means that even if it's on your pocket wizard you've got the long cable to better use it for which is perfect okay the first thing that you will want to do is get your adapter and plug this pedal into your adapter so that then rather having a pedal that leads to a 6.3 mil plug you've got one that leads to a 3.5 mil plug and then you're going to want to plug that 3.5 mil plug on the end of that cable into your pocket wizard 
Of course, you need to make sure that this is the Transmit Pocket Wizard. Now, I won't dwell too much on Pocket Wizards themselves at this stage, because I'm assuming if you're looking to do this, you probably know roughly how a Pocket Wizard works. But the important thing is for this is that you will need one of your Pocket Wizards set to Transmit, and you will need one of them set to Receive, and you need to make sure they are both on the same channel. For my case, I've set one to Transmit, one to Receive, and I've got them both set on channel 15. Okay, next up, we need to get our camera ready to better receive that signal. So you're gonna get your pocket wizard. This is the receive pocket wizard, and you need to fit that into the hot shoe on the top of your camera. And then you need to get your cable. You need to plug your remote shutter end into the camera itself. And then you need to run the 3.5 mil end into the pocket wizard. Now, when that receives a signal, that should now fire the camera. So perfect, we'll be ready to go. Okay, and then we're back over to our foot pedal. Now, you guys are hopefully already realizing that this is actually a lot easier and a lot more simple to do than perhaps you probably realized. We're pretty much done already. It's, it's as simple as that. But we need to make sure everything's together and we need to make sure it works. Now, I should say, I didn't plan this out too well and test this before. So this is the first time I've tried it so I'm hoping it works <laughs> fingers crossed that it does so we've got the foot pedal into the adapter plugged into the pocket wizard we've then got over here we've got our camera with the pocket wizard on top plugged into the camera now normally just before we plug that in if we press this test button it should fire the camera over here so let's just check yeah, you guys can hopefully hear that. That is firing the camera. So what we now want is that when this is plugged into the foot pedal and we plug that foot pedal, that it fires the camera as well. So we're plugged in, let's press the foot pedal and let's see what happens. It's working, it's working. And the genius thing about this is if you just press it once, it will take a photo or a couple of frames. If you hold it down, it will use the continuous fire rate mode that have got the camera set in, ready? So genius, you can take a couple of shots, you can hold it down, perfect. My fear was with this is it might be a case of you'd press it and it would fire once and you'd have to let go and press it again. I wasn't sure if it would work properly in terms of if I hold it down, it fires the camera loads, but it does. Absolutely genius, I'm really pleased with that. And that's pretty much how you do it guys, it's as simple as that. Now, what I'm imagining I would do is I would probably get a piece of like um, Velcro or something and I would tape this up underneath my monopod under my camera so it's a little bit higher, it's got a better um, transmit. I'd worried if I had this piece down by my feet that it might not transmit so well. So I'll probably have this tied up underneath my camera against my monopod so that when I press my foot pedal it sends the signal off to the remote. That's my plan. I'm gonna try and use it at a game once we're allowed back to start shooting football again. Now, there is one way that this could be improved. Now, the trouble is, if you leave your camera for a while, it goes to sleep. Now, when your camera goes to sleep, that means that when you first press this foot pedal and when you first send the signal through the pocket wizard, it won't actually take a photo. All it's going to do is wake the camera up. Let me show you what I mean. So the camera has just, in fact, just gone to sleep now. So if I press the foot pedal, you'll see what I mean. It's not actually gonna fire the camera. Instead, it's just gonna wake the camera up. So the camera's asleep, I press the pedal, it didn't take a photo, but the camera's come back on. Now, if I press it again, now it takes the photo. So the downside to that is that it means that sometimes if you forget your camera's gone to sleep and you press the pedal, it might not be taking photos. Now, you could get around that just by making sure you kind of press it every now and again to wake the camera up. But something you can get, which will be much, much easier for you, is you can actually get a different cable that has like a pre-release in the line, which means it basically keeps the camera awake. I'll link that one in the description too. I'll link both. It's a little bit more expensive, that cable. And actually, I don't have one of those right now, but I'm gonna look at getting one I'll link that in the description as well because that would improve it slightly from the actual setup that I've done right here for you and that's it guys that is how we do it that is how we set up a foot pedal release for our remote camera I hope you found it interesting if you did please do take a second hit that like button for me because it takes about two seconds of your time and it helps my video loads and loads thank you very much for doing it don't forget to subscribe if you are new don't forget to go check me out on Instagram guys at Rob Sample sport is the best place to check out my sports photos and I will see you guys, I will see you on the next video.